Hey there, fellows, check out what I got. Many of you have probably recognized this. It is a torque converter for an automatic gearbox. It is a simple part. It contains something that is reminiscent of a clutch. And we have gotten plenty of requests to replace a clutch with it. I say we do just that and see how it's able to perform its functions. Let's do this. We have a bearing, the oil pump housing, and the torque converter itself. It's freshly imported. We need to make this work somehow. As far as I can tell, I won't be able to easily remove the input shaft. Because right here you have a gear on it, and it simply won't allow me to extract it from the gearbox. So this ish... I have to find a way to fit it inside here. We have to make it so that this shaft while inside the gearbox is always static and uh, doesn't move. So this is an input shaft for an automatic gearbox. We machined this billet piece for it to be welded on. We'll then drill a hole of the required diameter and weld the billet to the input shaft on the LADA gearbox. And with that we'll have connected the auto box input shaft with the LADA manual input shaft. All right, so we finished the input shaft, we extended it. The diameter plus the splines are tailored to the torque converter. Also, we've set up this lovely thing. With the spliny hub like on an automatic transmission that secures the pump. It's supposed to stay put while the internals do their thing. All of that is secured and where it should be. Terrific, and there you have the complete assembly. We are looking very good. Oh yeah, and somewhere over here is where we'll find the filler hole. We're going to weld a nut, pour in the oil, stick a bolt in there. These blinds on this will be kept in place with the help of these bits of metal. I'd say it's all more or less ready for assembly. Okay, so we've got it all assembled, we've mounted the gearbox, and we got the torque converter which we've bolted straight to the flywheel, as it would be. The pump is secured in place, and we have not removed any of the lockup components. We have got everything mounted on studs. That was to be able to move the gearbox away, or the starter motor to bolt up, and to get a clear view. That's not the main consideration, it's more about the torque converter being very wide, making it necessary to move the box away. In the converter itself we've drilled a hole, welded on a nut and stuck a bolt into it. That is essentially the filler neck. The important thing now would be to test what we've made here, because we do suspect that this might not even work properly. 
We decided not to cut the torque converter open and use it as is. But now we're ready to try this out. We've already filled it up with some oil. And we won't be feeding it with oil from anywhere. It'll just be the oil we filled it with. But we filled it up to the brim. Well, I mean, we put in as much as we could. And now I suggest we bring the car down. And just see what comes out of this. I am super curious, so lower the car and let's head out. Okay, start the engine. Why don't you want to start? Okay, so the engine is a bit cold. No problem. Look at that. Everything seems to work and there is no vibration. That is very nice. Let me throw it into gear. My leg is going for the clutch on reflex. I got a gear and immediately the car drove. But that's good, I mean, uh, it's very good. Better keep in mind that this is pretty much a semi-automatic. But what's most interesting is that it's driving. And quite confidently. Maybe I'm doing this all wrong. Maybe grab a gear and then start the engine? Yeah, probably should have done that, but this, um... It's some kind of mechanized automatic. Or what do I even call it? Second gear, I release the brake pedal. And the car is rolling on its own. Just like a car with an auto. What if I give it some gas? No, I'd better try it out like this first. But then it is driving, um... Maybe... Okay, so I'm revving it. It drives. Now, it's not as snappy as a regular manual car would be. But we are moving along. And quite nicely. All right, here we go. Let me go for third. We are in third gear. A bit of gas and off we go. We were worried that the torque converter lockup might engage. But it doesn't seem to be for whatever reason. We're good, though that might not be a good thing necessarily, but um, oh. Second just slipped right in. I've got it in second because we're gonna go up a slight incline. Give it some gas and uh, here we go! The engine is turning at higher revs, the car is moving. And you can feel that the torque isn't being transferred directly. Instead you get the feeling that, well, um... Assuming you got a manual, this feels very much like you got a slipping clutch. But we all do realize that we're not running a clutch, that we have replaced it with a torque converter. But hey, the car does drive. Very nice. Actually, this is just terrific. Here we go. Oh, wow. No, let me try this in second. Second gear. So when you ease off the gas, you still expect all of the torque to be making its way to the rear differential, but that is very much not the case. But you are still expecting it. It seems to drive better than when I tried it to see if it even works. It's actually doing very well, and I did not expect that. 
You might recall that Vlad and I were of the opinion that the car would stall once we fire it up because of the torque converter lockup. But for whatever reason it didn't engage, and that proved to be a good thing. Yeah, there you go. Nah, it is constantly transferring some torque. As in, the input shaft is always turning. But whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and try setting off in fourth gear. And set off it did! Yeah, this is very much like an auto box. So, look here, the car is able to move around. That's all good, it doesn't even matter what gear you're in. First, second, third, fourth, the car does not care. You just hit the gas and you're off. I want to know, I mean, we can drive around all the live long day, but will it be able to tow anything? And so we've decided to uh, tie our van to this, and we're going to try pulling it. But the interesting thing here is that, well, whoever pulls something in a car with a slush box, uh, if the drive isn't too long and the road isn't the best, I'm trying to say that we tend to throw the box in too low or however else that mode is designated in any given car. And so I'm also going to be using first. And let's try towing that van, shall we? Let's go! Okay, first gear. And as soon as I start the car, we're already creeping. And here we go. Oh, holy cow, this thing is moving. Very nice. It is more than happy to pull that van. Without even breaking a sweat. I'm giving it more gas and the car is even accelerating. Isn't that something? It's pulling quite nicely, look at that. Now we just need to turn around somewhere. This is awesome. I was expecting I'd have to press down hard on the gas pedal. But as a matter of fact, I applied throttle and it just shot off. I'll just keep pulling him while I can. Do a lap and if everything holds up, then well, we're good. And so here we are, uh, happily pulling another vehicle. And uh, bear in mind that the one we're towing weighs a whole lot more than this thing. The one we're using to pull that other one. And nevertheless, as you can see, this is actually quite happy to move along. Even with the handicap. There we go. Yeah, this is struggling while going uphill. But we are still getting there. First gear, and I'm having to apply quite a bit of throttle. Not full throttle by any means, but the ref count is still pretty high. But we're moving, and that is good. We've made it. I did overheat the engine, but no big deal. That would be the cooling system's fault. That was a long lap. Okay, so that was pretty terrific. We replaced a clutch with a torque converter for an automatic transmission, and it worked. So yeah, guys, the whole thing worked. We replaced a clutch with a torque converter for an automatic transmission, as per popular request, and it actually worked. It held up, the car drove when setting off in first, second, third, even fourth. 
And we were even able to tow that van while using first gear. With a plumb, I might add. And so that's it for this video, you saw it all for yourselves, catch you guys later.